I believe that the truly good leaders know it is their responsibility for building the picture, for creating a compelling story for what success needs to look like. Call it creating the vision. The vision doesn't come from a strategy document or a PowerPoint, it comes from the people. In fact, meaningful strategy doesn't come from a whiteboard either. It starts and finishes with the people. Successful leaders create momentum within their organisation to create successful outcomes. Ultimately, leaders must inspire action. I mean, where else does the inspiration come from? There are many ways of looking at the same thing. For example, leaders quite often talk about engaging their people. Or perhaps they're just focusing on the engaged people. It's a bit of a cliche. It's the path of least resistance. It's easy. Why don't we look at things a bit differently? Why don't we focus on the disengaged people firstly? Why don't we focus on the minority, the conscientious objectors, those that are way outside left field? Why don't we bring them in and see what they're thinking? Imagine the benefit that that, that could bring us and our organisations. Once we get to that point, we improve their commitment, their effort, then we are really building critical mass. We're not just hanging on to it. We know a lot of the other cliches like walking the talk and leading by example, but don't get me wrong, some of them are absolutely relevant. Leaders are selected to lead. However, leaders also want to be in that chair because they want to be successful. They know they must interact, they know they cannot be thrown by adversity, and they know they must absolutely be excited by challenge and adversity. And you know, it's not about ego leadership, and let's face it, there is a bit of that around. It's about respecting and empowering our people. It's about turning risk into opportunity. It's about focusing on commercial outcomes all the time. Because there is always a bigger picture to be had and there's a better bottom line to be found. Hanging on to yesterday's outcome is irrelevant today. Our proposition hangs on the belief that leadership must inspire action. And perhaps the most simplistic visual for that is for us to consider that sitting behind a desk is a very dangerous place from which to lead a business.